Hey guys, Crewman here. And with a lot of people starting to get 4090s, the fact that they're a little bit easier to get, and I, I stress a little bit, I know a lot of you are going to start installing the cables. I know you've heard a lot of the drama. Thankfully, places like Jay's Two Cents, Gamers Nexus, and Igor's Lab have done their due diligence and have been able to show us that the majority of the cable burn issues are user error. So I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to install custom cables, the three pin cable and the four pin cable. And I wanted to spell rumors, I wanted to spell myths, and I want this to be the one stop video to help answer any questions, help ease any uncertainty, to show people that the 4090 is safe and it's fine and the cables will work as long as they're installed properly. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to go over is that there are two different kinds of cables. There is a four pit, there's a four adapt, a four plug, and a three plug. I want to more or less stress that these are the same thing. The difference being is that the four pin adapter, the four plug adapter allows you to overclock and to go over 100% power, where the three plug does not. The recommended minimum power supply is 850 watts. So if you're going to use 850 watts, and let's be clear, my 4090s are both powered by 850 watt power supplies, and I have no issues. You only need three pin, three plugs. Now, some companies like Zotac, like MSI, and I'm sure there's others, but I honestly don't know, they only come with three plugs. And you only need to use three plugs, okay? Now, if you have a 4090 Founders, which is what this model is, it comes with a four plug. Now, if you only have an 850 watt power supply, I would strongly recommend only plugging in three of them, okay? Which means you won't be able to overclock. And frankly, unless you're an enthusiast, there's no gain to there's no gain to overclock these there is literally like now don't quote me on this because i have not overclocked them myself because i've seen videos and they just don't seem worth doing there's like a under two percent gain to be had by overclocking and these things are power hungry monsters to begin with so i'm not sure why you would overclock to gain a maybe one fps for it it just doesn't seem worth it so if you have a 4090 founders or any other 4090 that comes with a four plug adapter and you only have an 850 watt power supply only plug three of them in it doesn't matter if you plug four or three because at the end of the day as you can see these adapters are exactly the same however if you have let's say a thousand watt or a 1200 watt, to be honest with you, uh, I don't know if I would try to overclock this with a thousand watt. Now, I'm not, not saying you can't or you shouldn't. I'm just giving you my personal preference. I don't think I would. But if say you have a 1200 watt power supply or more, uh, especially if you have something like the Asus Store, I would definitely consider doing it. You would plug all four plugs in if you wanted to go over 100% power draw. And like I said, in my personal opinion, if you had a 1200 watt power supply or greater, you should be perfectly fine plugging all four pin, all four plugs in. Now let's move on to custom cables. You might have the Corsair cable, which is featured here, a cable mod cable, or you might be lucky enough to have an ATX 3.0 power supply, in which case you would have this and then another, another plug and not these two. But I don't own one of those. And I don't feel the need to get one. But this plug will help, uh, I mean, essentially this, this part is the same as an ATX 3.0 power supply. So for, in terms of this video, for proper installation, it'll get the job done. So again, if you have a custom cable mod ca uh, cable, at one of those 90 degree cables, or a Corsair cable as shown here, or an ATX 3.0, this part of the video will be free. Okay, so let's go over the installation. Now, a lot of people do not have big cases. I understand not everybody has the ability to have a case that has plenty of room like this one. Now, 
you know, this would be my recommended case for a 4090. I will be doing a video on this sometime in the future. But I, like I said, I understand that you guys might not have this kind of room. So you might have to do some bending or you might have to get a custom cable, etc., to get it to fit. So with that being said, if you're using one of the NVIDIA provided adapters, the three pin or the four pin as shown here, what I would recommend doing before you plug it into the graphics card is I would recommend pre-bending it. So if you need a pretty sharp angle, I would pre-bend it like this, right? And then I would recommend after you get the bend you want, right? I would either zip tie it or I would plug in the power, the cables directly from your power supply before you plug it into the graphics card. Because the greatest point of failure, according to Gamers Nexus and Igor's Lab, and I'll link those videos down, I'll link the Gamers Nexus video, is the point of failure from this cable into the graphics card. So, what I would first recommend doing is you want to take your cable, I'm just using an EVGA cable that I have right here, and I would plug it in first, like this. Well, sometimes you gotta jimmy them in. It's, uh, it's being a little weird. I would recommend plug them in like this. into the adapter now what you don't want to do you see how there's two cables to this plug now i would not recommend plugging both cables in like this because that is how you're gonna that is a big point of failure right there because because the maximum draw for one of these cables is 288 watts and each one of these four pins at any given time could potentially use more than that because when they're not put when this adapter is not plugged into an ATX 3.0 PSU it is not a smart adapter so you really only want to plug one in on you one more time right here how you just want to plug in like this so you have two and then you need to plug two more in so I have them right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just so you can see it. Now, you can plug in ones that are not like this where they have two because those ones will take a maximum of 216 volts. And honestly, this card at, I'm just trying to find the other one I have. This card will literally only draw 400 watts. Of, so, it, so if you leave it like this, right, it will not draw over 400 watts. So that means you won't have any overclocking headroom or anything. But if you have an 850 watt to 1000 watt power supply, this is the safest way to do it. You keep three of these in and you're good. And again, this one right here, this one only has three, which means you, if you have three, you plug in all three. You must have minimum of three. If you have four, again, you only need to plug in three. So now let's move on to the most important part of this installation. Okay? So... Say we have it bent, right? We have our cables, we have our cables plugged in. We have it bent. Now, the most important part. You need to properly install this into the connecting slot. So, I'm gonna show it to you right here. Now, I, again, I would install all of this before you plug it into the computer. I would have this, this whole thing pre-installed before you install the graphics card, aka you plug the PCIe slot into the motherboard. And because it's such a heavy card, I would have a bracket or two. My MSI one has two. And on top of that, I would make sure the PC is laying on its side when you do it. Okay, so now we're going to plug this in. Did you hear that click? Let me do it one more time. And pull it out. Okay, now listen. There was a click. You needed to have that click. And once you have the click, you're good. It is successfully installed and you won't have any issues, fingers crossed, 
but seriously, you won't have any issues after that. Okay, just so you guys can see it, I'm taking the three pin one and showing you that if you, for whatever reason, you don't feel comfortable and you can trade with a friend or you can get a three pin because they're not hard to get, I'm gonna show you how to install the three pin as well. It is literally the same exact thing. So you properly bend it, right? And you gotta make sure the, the smart plug is it, with the adapters up top, not the adapter, the, uh, the four pin is up top. And you go like, like that. There was a click. You have to hear the click. If you don't hear the click, you pull it out. Now you have to be careful about pulling it out. I just knocked it over. You have to be careful about pulling it out and you start over. Okay, so this last part is a little bit easier. We're gonna go with the the 12 the 12 V H P W R cable. Okay. Now this is the Corsair cable. I have one already. I picked another one up from Best Buy uh, in case I want to get another Corsair PSU. Um, and mainly to use it to, for this video. Now you have two smart pins in this one only because there are two plugs. Now, for Corsair's cable, this will work on any of their HX power supplies and in their website, they will, they will show you literally what is compatible. We'll have the Best Buy link, the Amazon link, and the Corsair official link down below so you can buy these. Now, this one is a little different. This plugs into a normal power supply. It only uses two pin, two uh, eight pins, and it can power up to 600 watts. Now, I use this on an 850 watt power supply and I have no issues. Uh, you can see my video, which I'll link at the end of this, which will show you how I installed it. Now, this one is pretty simple too. It's the same as the other ones. You wanna pre-bend the cable, right? You don't have a lot of issues to deal with on this one because you don't have four plugs sticking out and it's not bulky. So you just line it up and you plug it in. And again, there will be a click. There will be a click for all of them. If you don't hear the click, it's not installed right. You gotta try again. The click is the key. Remember that saying, the click is the key. Now, uh, I don't own an ATX 3.0 power supply, but the adapter is the same, except I think it has more of the smart pins. Don't quote me on that though. Uh, the point of these is the wire's cleaner. It's just less messy, and I think it looks nicer. Now, that said, for my current power supply that I'm putting this on, I will be using the four pin and not the three, just because it's what came with it. So that's it. Honestly, installing this plug is not that difficult. I think I went over everything. Uh, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer. Please like and subscribe. I can always release a follow-up video. But like I said, I think this covered everything from the, the four pin adapter to the three pin adapter to the to a 3.0 adapter or a specialized cable, like a cable mount cable or a Corsair cable. And like I said before, I wanna reiterate, most, if not all of these issues as Gamers Nexus, NVIDIA, and with some help from Igor's lab have shown that it was all user error. There was not anything inherently wrong with the cables. Now granted, these cables should not be this complicated to install. I should not have to release this video. It shouldn't be necessary, but it, here it is. And here we are. So like I said, as long as you hear the click, you're good to go, all right? Don't proceed unless you hear the click. Anyway, please like and subscribe if you want some more 4080 content. I have a lot more content coming along. I just wanna get this video out because I know it's Christmas and a lot of people will be getting, well, it'll be Christmas at the time of this filming. I know a lot of people will be getting these things and the first thing they're gonna do is, did I install it right? Is everything right? So again, Please watch this video. I have two other videos I released on the subject. I have been using a 4090 since launch day and I've had zero problems with it. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, I wanna do more of this content for you and have a wonderful holiday. Crewman 